As you know, we like to showcase new technology here at the uh, garage. And this is a fascinating motorcycle. You know, I, I meet a lot of guys in my age group, never rode bikes and never drove a stick shift because they just had automatics, their parents had automatics. And they want to get a motorcycle and they're a little embarrassed that they're not a clutch shifter person. You know, remember that movie, 40 Year Old Virgin? Kind of like that. And that's what, nothing to be ashamed of, nothing to be ashamed of. And there are people who honestly don't like to shift. I got a lot of friends, maybe got a bad leg or whatever it is, or it's just too much busy work. You know, I have friends of mine that can get on the computer and do all kinds of stuff, which I can't do, but they just can't get that hand-eye coordination thing. This is the Aprilia. If you're not familiar with, uh, familiar with the name Aprilia, it's one of the oldest names in motorcycling, certainly going back at least to World War II, one of the most famous Italian names. Won a lot of races, built a lot of terrific sports bikes. And this is an automatic, but I hasten to call it an automatic because it, it, it conjures up images of that, the old Honda two-speed automatic from the mid-70s. This is a seven-speed transmission. Maybe to explain a little bit more, let's bring in Gary Petruski. Gary, come on in here. Yep. Hey, Jay, thanks. Now, you're vice president of sales, is that what it is? Yep, exactly, right, so, Jay. So if the president was assassinated, you would move forward. I would take charge so of So you are literally a heartbeat away a heartbeat from away, being yeah. the president of this corporation. Exactly. But let's just hope the worst does not happen. Let's uh, look around the bike a little bit here. What else we got? Obviously you got your muffler and tail lights. And I'd point out maybe those 17 inch wheels. It's got a nice size tire on yeah. it. So it has a nice look, nice Italian look to it. Uh, I like the welds on the frame. It looks nicely put together. I mean, to me, I, I like motorcycles you can sort of see through. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I like it. I, I like a motorcycle that should look like the back of a watch. You can, I hate when everything is all covered up with plastic. Mm. So it's nice to be able to just sort of, your eye falls to uh, all the different areas of the bike, all the castings. You know, everything's got to look nice because people are going to see it. And obviously, you've got twin disc brakes up front and uh, the kind of huge headlamp yeah, huge headlamp here. on yeah. it. This is obviously the heart of it right here. This is your transmission. Yeah, exactly. It has what's called a sport gear system. Mm -hmm. Probably similar to uh, in your garage, you've got paddle shift Ferraris or Tiptronic right. Audis. Right. It gives you two transmission modes. One, you can actually shift finger, thumb, plus gear, minus gear, right. to take you up through the seven speed transmission. Right. Or if you're a traditionalist, you use the old foot pedal. Right. So you just shift the gears up, shift the gears down, off you go. Or, what's really cool, fully automatic mode. Right. And really, even in the fully automatic mode, we give you three choices. So the computer chips say, okay, do you want to ride fast, sport mode? Do you want to ride touring? Or is it raining out, and should I cut your power so you don't get in trouble? Now, obviously, being an automatic, it's going to be a little bit heavier than, well, a, than, well, a, than a sport bike. Yeah, one would think, Jay, but really what we've done, traditionally, this is the fuel tank. Right. On this bike, let me pop this to open it. Right. It's actually storage. Right, that's and you can I got put your helmet, helmet in here. And well, that's what I was going to say because on a normal bike, you'd have your gas tank, you're carrying yep. your weight up high. Now, if this was a gas tank here, you wouldn't want this high weight and this high weight. Exactly so right. This compromise here, you've got it down as low as you can possibly put it. Right, now we took the fuel tank and put it underneath the seat. Right, right. So that lowers your center of gravity and gives you that better cornering capability when you kind of throw it. Yeah, I mean, I like this because you know, most motorcycles, you're supposed to lock your helmet on here. And then some kid comes along and cuts the strap, and now you've got a useless <laughs> helmet. And so at least here, at least nobody knows it's in there. Or you can put valuables in there as well. And that's, uh, that's kind of cool. And this is something I've never seen on a motorcycle before. This is a, a handbrake. This locks it in gear, more exactly or less? Exactly okay. right. Since you don't have the clutch, you're not in gear. Right. You don't want the bike to roll. Okay. So you just activate the parking brake, and it'll stay in place for you. Motorcyclists are so traditional. It's almost impossible to sell them something new. Uh, so when you hear automatic, ooh, automatic, ooh, what happened to that? But uh, it's, it's, it's not really an automatic. It's like you say, it's more like a Tiptronic or like a, like a paddle shifter. Let's take a variety, see what it does. You know, she's got plenty of power. You can ride it as a regular motorcycle. You can shift it normally, as I'm doing now, or you can let the automatic take over. You know, a lot of people hear automatic motorcycle, they think of that Honda back from the mid 70s. Uh, I believe that was just a two-speed. And that was interesting in its day, but that's 30 years ago. This is seven speeds. And I gotta admit, it's pretty seamless. I can't even feel it shifting, but it is. It's kind of reassuring, you just slow down. You don't have to grab the clutch or the brake. I gotta admit, I like this riding position. You know, the English used to call this the sit up and beg riding position. If you've ever driven a Vincent like my Black Shadow, you kind of sit this way, and it's very comfortable. You know, the, the modern thing is to have the bars way down here, and that's okay if you're a young guy, but for us old guys, 
this is really comfortable. It's like you're sitting in a chair, you, you get a good view of what's going on, and you're not putting all the strain on your upper arms. And it's, it, it, you lean enough forward so at a speed the wind keeps you up. Nice, comfortable bike. As you see, when you come to a stop, it just automatically goes into neutral. The nice thing is you can torque load it too. The only thing you can't do is sit at a, a light and rev it up. Your neighbors will like that. I can't feel it shifting. I know it is, and I know there's seven speeds in there, but it's not bam, bam, bam. I mean, it's very smooth, it's, it's seamless, and uh, in a lot of instances, I think, if you're a normal rider, if you're not a racer, you might actually be able to go faster through the twisties on this, because you're not constantly, you know, upshifting and downshifting, and sometimes you shift to the wrong RPM, and you kind of, you know, you get that lock up on the rear wheel. It all does it for you, so. In some ways, it can actually make you a better rider. And of course, you got the three modes that go from sport and touring to normal. Um, it's fascinating te technology. And it's Italian, like me. Anyways, when the sports guys call you a weenie for having an automatic, just blow them off in the twisties. It's fun to be able to try out this new technology. There's a lot of cool stuff coming in bikes. Watch this space and we'll show you more. See you next week.